Welcome to Dorset Art Weeks 2018, and in particular to the exhibition at the Athona Community, where five artists are showing their work in the lovely chapel and adjoining library. These are five people who've already exhibited here in previous years, but of course each of them has developed in their work over the couple of years since the last Dorset Art Weeks. Ali Tebbs produces these striking seascapes mainly, and they are made, or oh, there's a bit of a reflection there, there you are, you can see it better. These are made by collaging torn paper. She paints on the paper first, then tears it and puts it together in collages to create these landscapes, some wonderful winter sea and landscapes in Ali Tebbs' work this year. And she also produces much smaller works, these tiny boxed sets of four different pictures. Moving on to the work of Robin Shaw. And this time, Robin spent a whole year doing a different drawing for each day of the year. And they're all on show here. Have a quick look at some of them. They're very varied. And whatever she began for the day, she completed. She hasn't discarded anything. She hasn't rubbed anything out. She didn't draft anything before starting to draw it. And there's this wonderful variety of pictures. The whole 365 days. And even the pictures she's been doing this week. To follow it up. And one of the very uh, the great fun things this year is there's a draw-it-yourself option. We've set up uh, a desk along the corridor where all sorts of people visiting the exhibition are taking a chance to make their own five-centimetre square picture, as Robin's been doing. As we move on round, some of her larger works there. And in the chancel... Seven paintings by Mart Tebbs. Mart made these works specially for this specific space. They're entitled Magic Dance. Very bold works. Mart drawing inspiration as ever, both from nature and from pieces of machinery. He's a bit fascinated by it the bits and bobs and cogs and nuts and screws and so on you'd find in a mechanic's drawer. There are more of Mart's smaller works. The sequence entitled Signs of Life. There they are. Emma C. Tabor has brought again some of her intricate drawings this time working more in coloured pencil. And this sequence all have the word dew in the title. This is playful dew. Here's dew burst one. Getting some reflections, I'm afraid, of the window the other side of the chapel. And then Emma has some other drawings of a very delicate, intricate nature. Hard to capture here on the video. That's called Interlocked Sight One. Emma also produces coloured prints, and there are some examples of those here in the library. This is more of her work. Also here in the library, textile art by Elizabeth Sayers. Uh, Elizabeth is inspired particularly by the local Dorset landscape. She works in hand-dyed silks, embroiders, works by hand and by machine, builds up layers of fabric to produce these landscape pictures. But there's also a sequence here inspired by her trips to Finland quite different look to them, though the techniques are much the same. And she travelled through Finland, 
partly on snowshoes. So the work of five Othona artists, all here and on show each day from 11 till 5 until Sunday the 10th of June. You'd be most welcome to call.